India's largest public sector shipyard in terms of docking capacity, which is Cochin Shipyard, has reported a steady quarter with profits rising over 30%. Margins too remain stable at 22%. Let's discuss the quarter gone by Mr. Madhu Nair, uh, the CMD of the company. Uh, Mr. Madhu, thanks very much for taking out the time. Let's break it down into uh, you know uh, the overall shipbuilding business as well as the ship repair segment and and what uh, affected the ship repair segment this time because that segment looked a bit weak. Uh, Asif, let me talk about the shipbuilding first. Uh, mm -hmm. The shipbuilding uh, this time has done very well because uh, the fund flow, the revenues from the indigenous aircraft carrier phase three part has started flowing in. Uh, we had uh, said last time like uh, we had signed the contract for the phase three contract which was uh, in the works for some time. Uh, we were not able to recognize revenues on these works uh, in the absence of the contract, but now that the contract is there, the revenues have started flowing in. So that's that's what uh, is doing good for the shipbuilding part. On the ship repair part, uh, this is actually on expected lines, uh, while the overall uh, Q on Q basis uh, revenues are lower. That's because last year we had a uh, one-off uh, large vessel, which was a indigenous aircraft carrier, Vikramaditya, the serving aircraft carrier, which had come in for repairs uh, in the shipyard last year, which had given us uh, significant revenues. Just, just that project was 450 crores in last year's turnover. So uh, this year we, we knew, always knew that uh, such a project was not there. So uh, it's on expected lines, uh, no, no causes for concern as you're speaking. And uh, we were on the, on the overall revenues also, this was uh, expected. So we are having a higher proportion of shipbuilding as compared to ship repair this time. Okay, so just want to uh, uh, get a sense from you. So while obviously you're saying this could be a one-off uh, impact on the ship repair segment, uh, overall uh, going forward, maybe two or three quarters down the line, do you see uh, the ship repair turnover increasing dramatically? Because you know you are also looking at uh, you've gotten profit sharing agreements with both uh, Mumbai as well as Kolkata ports. Um, so those will start to kick in, and then what kind of revenue turnover? do you expect from each of these ports, particularly with regards to the ship repair segment? Exactly. Uh, see, we are expecting uh, revenue flows to come in from Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai, we have now had uh, almost one year of uh, operations, uh, but the initial part was uh, slow because we are setting up the uh, processes and the systems over there. So now it's more or less stabilized. Um, uh, we have now seen like by Within the first nine months, we have a fair bit of uh, money that's come in, but uh, we should see much more coming in uh, in the in Q4 of this year. And as we move into next year, ship repair revenues from Mumbai would uh, be much more significant. Uh, so this is uh, this is definitely going to add on to uh, our overall ship repair revenues next year. It's not going to be. Uh, see, if we are comparing again with last year, it is not going to be uh, just a, just a massive jump or something of that sort. But it's going to be steady increase and the Bombay revenue should uh, definitely cross uh, 100, 120 crores uh, next year. Okay, and what about Calcutta? You you have also, um, you know, uh, gotten, uh, uh, you've acquired 100% stake in two of those dry docks in West Bengal. How do you think Correct. they will start to contribute to the financials? Calcutta, uh, very, very marginal because okay. Calcutta did not have an uh, ecosystem uh, like Bombay. Bombay already had an ecosystem. But Calcutta, uh, we are pleasantly surprised. We have actually handled two vessels already in Calcutta uh, after starting operations. But then uh, there, are, there are a lot of things which we have to do. We have to do a little bit more of a upkeep in that uh, facility. So I'm not uh, wanting to report too much uh, from Calcutta. We'll, we'll get. 20, 30 crores coming from Calcutta. That is the expectation. But anything more than that, I'm not in a position to say at this stage. It, it, it looks, prima facie, it, it looks a little bit uh, better than what we probably would have uh, expected six months back. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me come to margins then. Yeah. 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 Margins, uh, shipbuilding at 23.5%, which was an improvement. Ship repair has dropped by 13.5%. Uh, overall, console margins, uh, EBITDA margins remained flat. Would you see yeah. an improvement, overall improvement there? And also, uh, you know, just add to that uh, any focus that you have with regards to your already, already laid out plans for expansion. I believe you're looking at more volume based business now uh, with regards to fishing boats, you're eyeing Indian Navy projects, how is that going forward? And you're also looking to enter private tourism as a, as a space. How are all of this, uh, those things falling into place for you? 
Uh, see, margins, uh, we should we should be, uh, because we have already, the EBITDA margins is all, already extremely healthy. And in this business, I, I can't, I can't uh, continuously keep on raising the margins. I think we have done uh, well. The margins are at very healthy levels. So the focus would be on to sustaining those kind of margins, because I feel it's very healthy margins. Ship repair, as you said, uh, see, uh, that 13 percentage that's come in, you know, it's it's a little bit uh, because of the nature of the business. Because uh, if, if you really see just the previous quarter, it's it's much, much higher. So uh, you, sh you shouldn't read too much into it, uh, because if you look at the nine monthly figures, the ship repair margin is around a 25 percentage, which is, which is where we are uh, generally. So on a quarter to quarter basis, accounting policy point of view, a little bit lumpiness, the way we recognize revenues, only when so those, those are coming into the, uh, that, that figure so that 13 percentage is is not really a point for concern so margins should be remaining steady at around uh, the levels we are having now coming to the capex plans uh, two large expansion projects here in kochi uh, is going generally on steam even though one of those projects the isrf has faced some difficulties uh, because of uh, some some uh, uh, small issues which you had on the ship lift supplier side and uh, the, the the way the infra uh, industry is moving, we are seeing, seeing some slowness over there. The other project, the dry dock is moving very well and should be uh, moving forward towards a completion in 2021 as planned. We are also doing through a subsidiary company, we are investing about 150, 160 crores in uh, Calcutta in a new shipyard, that's going very well. 2021, February is the completion date targeted, but uh, in all probability, we should be completing it by end of this year and starting operations out there. Okay, sir, just one question from my side. Are you bidding for any new projects in the near future, in the current quarter, or uh, what's the road ahead with regard to FI21? Uh, shipbuilding projects, we have bid, uh, we have bid for a, uh, quite a bit of projects with the Navy and the Coast Guard. There, there, there have been a, there have been a uh, few projects that's come in. We have put in the bids, and there are a few projects also which we are bidding. And we are, um, we are definitely hoping to be amongst uh, the winning bidders in a few of these. But it will take some time because the naval projects, as you know, when when a bidding happens, it's typically an 18-month period uh, where they ask for a validity. And uh, we hope for the next one year, one half year, uh, some of these bids will see fructification. Any ballpark figure? What are the average size of these orders? Oh, there are there are uh, mid-size ones and a uh, couple of uh, fairly big-size ones. I'm not in a position to discuss this, but then but then, good 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 figures are there. No worries, sir. Mr. Nair, thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through uh, the quarter Thank gone you. by, and all the best to you for the coming quarters. That's the management of Cochin Shipyard.